I'm Matt Ryan, and I play the charismatic Edward Kenway in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And today we're going to have a look at some of the characters that you'll meet during this epic adventure. Let's start with Edward, who's unlike any previous Assassin's Creed hero. He's rowdy, with a hot temper and a devilish wit. I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. He has a thirst for drinking, and is a bit of a loose cannon. Born and raised in Wales, Edward sailed to the West Indies to recruit men to join him on his hunt for riches and infamy. Showtime! His best ally is his quartermaster, Adewale, who escaped a life of slavery in his teens. He soon joined up with Edward in search of a taste of freedom. This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. In terms of skill and courage, Adewale is Edward's equal. Yet he is not as hot-headed as his captain. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. Edward and Ade call Nassau their home, a rowdy pirate republic where European empires hold no sway. It was founded in part by Benjamin Hornigold and Edward Thatch, better known as Blackbeard. Mm. You don't want it by your wives! Acting as Edward's mentor, Blackbeard lived by his own rules, using fear and theatricality to build his legend. Now you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. <laughs> While Hornigold, on the other hand, was more of a gentleman pirate. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. He followed a certain code of conduct and would never have attacked a British flag. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. For a few hopeful years in the early 18th century, Nassau attracted all kinds. Men like Steed Bonnet, who abandoned a life of rich pleasure in search of new thrills. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. And Woods Rogers, a fearless privateer focused on destroying the Pirate Republic by whatever means necessary. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. At the top of Rogers' list, was the infamous pirate Charles Vane. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Nassau is the you perfect place for Vane's cruel and psychotic personality, where ethics were abandoned and where every man lives and takes for himself. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. For a fast and breathless moment at the dawn of the 18th century, these men and women answered to no one and were masters of their own lives. And it's within this explosive setting we live the story of Edward Kenway, a selfish and ambitious pirate who will become the uneasy allies of assassins, the bane of Templars, and the enemy of empires.